this is Brett, and uh, today we're just gonna learn how to install uh, Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid Links, and this is the 64-bit edition inside Mac OS 10, uh, and this is Snow Leopard 10.6.3, and uh, I'm just doing this inside VirtualBox, and it's pretty similar to do inside uh, VMware and Parallels, but I'm doing it for VirtualBox, so if you're on a different system other than Mac, you can check it out as well. So start this up and uh, I already went through all the settings to uh, for the system configuration. I bumped up the uh, base memory from 512 megs to 1024 and my system only has uh, 1048 in it so this is about half and I turned on 3D acceleration so I could get those 3D graphics inside of Muntu with the Compiz Fusion and uh, pretty much just an 8 gig virtual hard drive, and this is the 64-bit edition that I downloaded straight from Ubuntu. Not too big of a file, you know, almost 700 megabytes, but they release uh, various distros throughout the years, and uh, when it's an LTS, that just means it's for a little longer, so they won't probably won't update a major one for another two years or so. And I'm just going through the basic options. I'm in the United States. I chose the 0.6 gigabyte hard disk. Now we'll Look forward. to the point where I have to just enter in my uh, preferences, so I'm going to type in my name. I'm just going to type in a password. And uh, I'll name this just uh, Ubuntu. Now I'm just going to click install. Okay, so we are finally booted into the uh, Ubuntu interface. And uh, everything seem appears to be working. All the different menus have all the applications installed. You know, you have your basic, you have your terminal, a couple games. You'll notice that the GIMP is gone with the 1004 update. Internet, they have Firefox, Quibber, is new, the new social client. And uh, you get the transmission for your BitTorrent. OpenOffice comes pre installed, which is pretty nice. And you get the new PTV video editor, which I have tried, it's pretty nice, I'm surprised. I guess it's uh, Ubuntu's iMovie or Final Cut alternative. But uh, you'll notice that they have the new social network integration over here and if I have to set up my Gwibber I could do everything from right there and uh, of course update manager is already asking me to update there's already 100.6 megabytes of updates that I need to do I'll check that again and uh, in a future video I'll do a little overview of Ubuntu and how it works and how to do a few things for you newbies but until the future videos I'll see you guys soon